Hello everyone, I am Leonardo and this is the video tutorial for Advanced Suspension Bridge. Advanced Suspension Bridge is an asset for creating any kind of suspension bridge modularly. This asset is fully dynamic and interactable. Now let's see how to use this asset to your game. In order to use this asset, you need to migrate it in your project. After migrating, place the BP Suspension Bridge actor in your scene and set up some of its properties. Plank count controls the number of plank used to make the bridge. A SEM plank parameter is an array of static meshes. It allows you to place different type of plank mesh randomly. Your offset planks parameter controls the Z rotation offset of each plank simultaneously. Plank position offset is used to offset the location of the plank. Please keep in mind that there are two different type of plank meshes, one without the rope binding and other with the rope binding at the bottom. Is rope plank parameter adjust the random function to be used with rope binded planks. Mat planks parameter is used to set the material for the planks. Random stream parameter is used to see the random placement of planks. SM bridge start and SM bridge end are used to set the start and end mesh for the bridge. Mat bridge start and mat bridge end are used to set the materials for bridge start and end mesh respectively. Yaw offset bridge start and end are used to control the Z rotation of the bridge start and end mesh. SM rope parameter set the static mesh for the side rope of the bridge. Mat rope parameter is used to set the material of the side rope. Please keep in mind that there are two types of side rope, one without the net and other with the net. Mat rope net parameter allow you to set the material for the net of the side rope. Rope point offset controls the offset between each rope points. Rope position offset parameter controls the rope location relative to its parent. Advanced suspension bridge asset allow you to attach several components to your bridge such as skeletal mesh, static mesh and particle system. The process of attaching these components are same. First, you have to add the component in its array. Then, set the simulation index for that component. The simulation index range between 0 to the plank count minus 1. For example, if plank count is 10, then simulation index will be in range between 0 to 9. You can also add the transform offset of that component. Please follow the same procedure for attaching static mesh and particle system to the bridge. 
Well, that's it for today. Please feel free to play with it. Have a nice day. Thank you.